nigga. Get back. Y'all boys. Y'all boys. Y'all boys. Oh, and y'all girls. I cannot forget about my lovely ladies. I appreciate y'all. But if you can't tell, I'm excited. Because today, we gonna be covering one of the most diabolical, the most devious, one of the most vicious get backs in all of anime history. And the crazy thing is, it was done by a nigga who a lot of people think look like a girl. I don't know, you tell me. But hey, me personally, if I ever see dog on the street and he try to swing on me, I'm hitting a quick little ah, weak. Am I lying right now? Hell yeah. Cause after seeing the treacherous activities Karapi was on, you got it bro, I don't no type of smoke gang. Like bro, look! This man brought a shovel to a fight and put Uvo six feet deep like he was social distancing. You know what I'm saying, was in his bag. And even saying that is an understatement cause he inspired a whole generation of menaces, including me. And that's why I'm finna start keeping the shovel with me at all times. So if any one of y'all boys wanna try me, just know it's up. And I got on the Halloween PJs, cause shit finna get wicked. Cap. Yeah. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh, let's get into it. So quick backstory. The reason why Karapika is hell bent on getting it back in blood against the Phantom Troop is cause back in the day they merged his entire clan. That boy was on straight Sasuke timing. So to get ready for these generational get backs, Karapika had a whole trainer arc with NPC Sensei number 47, learns Nen, gets inducted into 4PF by Lil Baby, and is now walking around with iced out VVS Eliante diamond chains on his wrist at all times. And they 100% real, TIA certified. Trust me, I diamond tested them motherfuckers before I even started the video. So it goes without saying, this nigga is drippy. Oh, and not to mention, he got a huge power up from basically hacking the entire Nen server. So them boys pull up to York New City for the auction and Karapika got a job as a bodyguard for a flesh collector. And they gonna be selling some of the most valuable items on the dark market at this event. Stuff like Amaranth's bathwater, Playboy Cardi's thong, Kanye's sanity. And the Phantom Troop is notorious for hitting licks on this type of stuff, so Karapika knows pretty much a guarantee they finna pop out. And he was 100% correct cause the auction didn't even get a chance to start when two members of the Phantom Troop pulled up on some wicked timing and completely aired that motherfucker out. And y'all, I'm talking about bodies on bodies on bodies. It won number three licks in that auction house. Everybody in there was pretty much a walking KD booster. And off rip, one of the bodyguards from Karapika's squad gets blicked so the other two try to escape but Shizuku is just like, oh got his ass. And whack dude over the head with her super Gawk Gawk 3000 Nen vacuum. Hey, is anybody else thinking what I'm thinking right now? Stop it. Get some help. But nah, this wasn't her only victim. After the first dude, Shorty went and Molly walked the resident bad bitch on the team with the power of a Mike Tyson uppercut. And now she has a wicked dose of Richard Sherman CTE. No! I'm sorry. No! Girlie really got her seen a game over screen in real life. Try it! And you might be thinking like, wait. Where was Karapika during all this? He went to Philly to play the PlayStation with little Uzi? Yeah, 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 <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing. Bro was actually outside. But since everything got quiet, Karapika and them realized something went wrong, so they went inside to check it out. And they pull up to find out that somebody hit the most devious lick on the Mafia auction without leaving a trace. Wasn't a single thing left in that vault. So a bunch of the Mafia members end up tracking down the Phantom Troop to this desert where these boys proceeded to lose any and all essences of aura that they ever had. Uvo sees them all ganged up and the rest of the troop asks him if he wants help but Uvo was just like nah I'm gonna do my own thing. Then he went on to break this nigga's neck like he was trying to get a glimpse of some ass, lay these boys out like Thanksgiving dinner, and got the last dude right here twinning with King Bradley after throwing a 10 billion mile per hour fastball right through his skull. So it took all of this for the Mafia to finally realize they ain't stand a snowball's chance in hell against Uvo. Honestly, I got a better chance that Jenna Ortega responded to one of my DMs. So the Mafia just started doing the dash, and since they had equipped the box with Uvo, they got on the phone and made a call to the Shadow Beasts, a special group containing the 10 most powerful Nen users in the Mafia community. And yeah, okay, you heard they name and they sound cold, like nobody will be able to fuck with them, right? Wrong. I still remember my very first time watching this as a kid and I couldn't help but think one thing. <laughs> this nigga is trash. Like bro, I 
can't be the only one. I know it's been times where y'all took one look at a nigga and immediately knew they was trash. Like, look, prime example, Dylan Brooks. Ass. Killian Hayes. Ass. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum whenever you need them to show up in a big game. Ass. Like, bro, they be more concerned about getting flicked up for their next TikTok instead of hooping. So yeah, one look at the Shadow Beasts, and I knew that the Mafia was cooked. I believe T. Pendell started dropping good videos again before I believe the Shadow Beasts could win this fight. T. Pendell is trash. trash. T. Pendell is garbage. Wait, is that Krillin? So the Shadow Beasts pull up, and they ain't even last half an episode. Uvo legit one tapped all these boys. Stole Saitama's whole flow and hit the first duel with a killer move. Serious series. Serious punch! He hit this nigga so hard, he almost caught a charge like Isaiah Stewart. Then he took a bite out of the second Shadow Beast skull and got him looking like the Apple logo, so he's packed. And to finish off his combo, Uvo hucked up a chunk of bro's skull that he just ate and just shot it at the last Shadow Beast like a bullet and got this little ugly ass dude cosplaying as JFK now. And real quick, cause this just pissed me off so bad. If bro had enough time to raise his hand to block the skull piece and to be able to tell what it was mid-air, why not just dodge that junk instead of trying to block forehead? You stupid. No, not. That boy running on the combined brain cells of Krishan Rock and Ice Spice at the Super Bowl. Cause my baby had no idea what was going on. So to kill the fourth and final guy that was attached to him, Uvo just started playing his mixtape. Death by sound is crazy. He had blood ears bleeding. This nigga shit had to have sounded like Yeet with no auto tune. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yo, I'm me up. Yeah, yeah. No way. <laughs> But y'all wanna know something? The hilarious thing is, as trash as they are, the Shadow Beast still got more playing time than Kai Sinat did at the Celebrity All-Star Game. <laughs> Shannon Sharp saw Kai drop that hoop mixtape against first graders and said, oh nah. Sit your ass down. But Karapika was watching all this unfold and he ain't waste no time. As soon as he saw Uvo was done fighting the Shadow Beast, he kidnapped him like if EDP ever had a successful meet and greet. But wait, hold up, nah. Change during Black History Month is wild. We gonna have to keep an eye on this nigga for sure. And before some dweeb in the comments is like, Hunto, you know it's actually March, right? Black History Month is over. I wrote this back in February, okay? My editing schedule is trash. I'm sorry. So with Uvo captured, Karapika and the gang head back to hand him over to the Mafia because he got a 5 star wanted level. I don't even think calling Lester would have been able to get this type of heat off bro. Everybody wanted smoke. He's cooked! So we get a little more plot. The Phantom Troop ends up breaking out Uvo and he goes to get his lick back on Karapika. And now we got them boys posted in the desert. Ready to squabble. Left, do it, right, do it. So off rip, Karapika just starts look smaxing and flings off his entire robe to reveal the drip. And I'm not gonna lie, my nigga is clean right now. All he missing is a pair of dead stock pure white G-Fazos instead of them yee ass loafers he got on. But besides that, bro is majestic. I just know he get more ass than a toilet seat. Tell me. Do you remember the faces of all the people you killed? Uh, no. <laughs> Why would I care about something as pointless as that? You bastard. For your sins, you'll pay with your life. So Karapika just starts flexing his max prestige light skin aura. I'm talking up there with Kelly Oubre type shit. And you can just tell, this man came to cook. Uvo does the same and bro just starts doing the most like Hulk smash on the floor. Karapika Xbox 360'd out the way and started throwing out a couple yeah. mean chain attacks. But Uvo was not finna get caught lacking like last time. LeBron's legacy was on the line and he became untouchable. Somebody must have told him that the cameras was on cause he started cooking. Cause y'all know how quickly motherfuckers switch up when niggas start recording. I'm sick. Blood really on his Otani flow. Trying to secure that 10 year 700 million dollar supermax extension with Weave Nation at all costs. I'm so Uvo blitzes Karapika and lands an absolute rocket with his right. I don't know how every bone in Karapika's left arm ain't shattered right now. That punch. Is that the best you got little nigga? This elite level trolling by Karapika got Uvo pissed. Karapika started sunning this nigga the same way Luka Doncic be doing deep book. He ain't never had nobody talk to him like this in his life. Uvo ain't even have a response. He just got to chuckling and was like, <laughs> was that supposed to be funny? That punch was only 20% of my power. Stop the cap. So we all in agreement that he lying right now, right? Bruh, all I gotta do is go back to see Uvo's initial reaction and know he is so capped out. Just look at his face. This is the face of a nigga just looking for a light of tail. So Uvo hits his dash animation and darts towards Karapika, but he flashed Stupid. up behind bro, blew his back out, introduced his heel to the back of Uvo's cranium and sent him flying. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Uvo is now drowning in an indescribable emptiness with the realization that he's cooked. 
This is when the demon took over the controller for a second. Karapika could been waiting years to get his lick back and just used the back of this nigga neck like a trampoline. Got Uvo punching Shaq at the free throw, straight air. This nigga is just trolling at this point. The little smirk he got on his face is devious. So Uvo thinks he landed a good hit after catching Karapika lacking in the smoke screen. But Karapika hit the quickest Uno reverse of all time and reveals this was all just a ploy to get him trapped in his chains. And Uvo was just straight up confused. W wait, what? Has he actually been able to 100% master both enhancement and conjuration abilities? No, that's impossible. They're on opposite ends of the spectrum. That's not how it works. This isn't making any sense. Hey, since your dumb ass seem to be confused, let me explain it to you before you die. And this is when Karapika takes out his contacts and reveals his scarlet eyes, aka the Sharingan on steroids. Cause this junk is an absolute T code. Man. Got when his scarlet eyes are activated, Karapika gets a plus 99 to all his stats and gains the ability to use every Nen type at 100% mastery. So this man is broken. Basically anything he want to do, he can do it. Like look, to heal his arm that Uvo messed up during that attack earlier, Karapika just pulled out this iced out Jesus piece and with it, he was able to use enhanced healing to recover instantly. Like bro, tell me how you gonna beat that. So Karapika just gets to beat his ass, leaving NBA Youngboy size dance on his body. And I don't like the framing they used on this clip right here, so I'ma just replace it with Yuji mixing a Mahito because... Cause I feel like it. Karapika was trying to interrogate Uvo between every hit, but he wasn't giving him no type of information. Uvo Ben realized he was cooked, and after every blow, he was just saying, Do it! Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Karapika got sick of this so quick though, so he just pierced Uvo's heart with the judgment chain and set the condition that Uvo has to answer all his questions truthfully. And if not, his heart would be crushed instantly. Chain wrapped around your heart, piercing it. Name five Nick Cannon songs right now. <laughs> You bitch. You know nobody can do that. Keep God in your life, fuck yeah, nigga. And just like that, Kurapika caught one of the most devious bodies in anime history. But wait, 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 wait. This wasn't even the most disrespectful part, though. This nigga Kurapika had the foresight to be like, yeah, I'ma win. And brought a shovel to a 1v1 death match and buried his op with it after he packed him up. Yeah, at this moment right here, forever immortalized him as one of the ghosts. But as always, I appreciate y'all for the support. It's been crazy lately. And I just want to say thank you for 50k. If you like the video, don't forget to drop a like, hit that sub button for me, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Oh, and another reason to have the noties on is that I started going live on the channel recently, so you don't want to miss that. And I just started a Discord server for the channel. The link will be down in the description. This will help you guys stay updated on when I drop new videos, when I go live, and a couple other surprises I got in store. So y'all go ahead, join up. So, um, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Be smooth.